Hey everyone and welcome to this video about the 2022 tax season. I'm going to walk you through this specific page to show you what the requirements are for the for the tax season and what, what specifically to look out for. Okay, so we know that the start of a tax season is officially the 1st of July and it's going to run until the 24th of October. I'm not exactly sure why SARS is saying that it's only for taxpayers who file online. My my definition would rather say tax, um, you know, non-provisional taxpayers have a deadline on the 24th of October. It's noted obviously that the that the deadline moved from November um, to October, so it was pushed back a month earlier. But uh, SARS fails to explain why that's the case. Then provisional taxpayers, provisional taxpayers generally speaking are people who earn extra income or, or income specifically uh, that is not covered by uh, pay as you earn. Their deadline is the 23rd of um, the 23rd of January 2023. Okay, then there's talks about auto assessment. Obviously, like last time, you can either accept, edit or yeah, you can either accept or edit the return. Um, if you are auto assessed and most people are auto assessed if they get an RP5 uh, with an RA and medical um, but you, if you've got extra things it's likely that you won't be auto assessed. A big thing to realize is the estimated assessments that I was addressing in the previous video it looks like based on uh, based on this messaging from SARS it looks like if you don't accept your auto assessment within 40 business days, then you can't object or appeal against that estimated assessment. So uh, in other words, the auto assessment is actually the estimated assessment until you either accept or edit and submit the return. So um, uh, we must, uh, I, I will obviously wait and see whether estimated assessments are applicable to people who do not get auto assessed. Then what to, pre what to prepare, specifically RP5 medical aid and RA and interest certificates uh, from, you know, we get interest uh, income on an IT3B that is usually preloaded on e-filing. But if you get things like rental income or other source of income, you're involved in crypto or you sold a property. So anything outside of the things that third party data does not have on e-filing that you'll have to uh, gather yourself. However, I'll also say to go to your employer and ask for your RP5 specifically, go to discovery or your medical aid and get the medical aid certificate uh, online. And you can also do that with your RA certificate as well. So it's good to have the, the, the certificate from the actual institution rather than just, um, rather than just basing it off what's on e-filing. Okay, so I think that's the uh, that is the update for the 2022 filing season. Right, I think that's it. Have a great week further. Cheers, everyone.